Summer's here, and I have a lot more free time now. I'm planning to work on a lot of projects this summer, but I've also been doing a lot of sailing. I recently got into wing foiling, and it's a lot of fun. The other day I was browsing YouTube, and I got recommended this old video of someone driving an RC Trimoran sailboat. In my head I was like, that's sick, I've gotta try and build that. And so I did. Or at least I tried to. This video is mostly a cry for help. I'll walk you through how the project started off first, and then I'll get into the issue that I'm having. If you know your way around CAD, then please stick around and give me some advice. Anyways, this project started off like most of them do. I saw something, I got inspired, and I decided I wanted to try and build it. I figured that the best way to make an RC trimaran would probably be to 3D print the whole sections, glue them together, and then fiberglass over them. A lot of really nice RC sailboat models tend to use mylar for sails, and I don't really have access to that, but I do know a few people who might have broken sails or just scraps of it lying around, so I reached out to them, but nothing back from them yet. I do have ripstop nylon, but that's more like a spinnaker type of a material. It has less rigidity to it, and I'm not sure how it would hold the shape of a foil. So I can try that because I have it in the meantime, but we'll see what happens with the sail. Quickly, I'd like to thank PCBWay for sponsoring me ranting about my CAD troubles. PCBWay is an online PCB manufacturing service that can make custom parts for your projects. They don't only specialize in making affordable custom designed PCBs, they also offer services such as 3D printing, CNC machining, metal printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. All of these possibilities come with really good prices and fast turnaround times. If you've got a project that you're working on, then I highly recommend you check out PCBWay to see how their services can benefit you. Their services support makers like me to create cool projects like this one, and they can do the same thing for you too. Another big thanks to PCBWay. Moving into CAD now, I just kind of sort of made this thing as I went along, you know, I didn't really have a set plan. I knew I wanted this boat to be roughly about a meter long and almost that wide too. With those loose parameters, I whipped up a solid looking rough design. I modeled the bows to resemble NACRA F-18 Evolution bows, because they look sick. I also took some inspiration from Maxi Trimoran designs like Spindrift. And here starts the problems. In order to print the boat in shells, they need to be shells. So, <laughs> the boat needs to be hollowed out. Easy enough. There's a tool for that, the shell tool. Little did I know, this would be the focus of like 7 hours of my life over the next few days. I guarantee someone with more experience could figure this out and I'd feel really silly, but seriously. Up to the time that I'm uploading this video, I seriously still don't know how to make this thing work. I began by, of course, trying to make the wall of the shell hole nanoscopically thin, and then thicken it back up, but the geometry still overlapped, of course, and so that didn't work. I tried splitting the boat in half, hollowing half of it out, then mirroring and knitting the two together. That created a new weird issue. Around this time, I also started to notice strange deformities in the loft itself. Tell me how this makes sense. Every face here has the same number of vertices, yet somehow this happens. I have no idea. After staring at this thing for way too long, I started to hate the initial design I made in the first place. So another few hours later, and we have Trimoran number two. When designing model number two, I looked for online pre-existing models to see how other people went about designing similar projects. I realized that most people when making a project like this would make a top and a side view and constrain each whole section to these sketches. Everything was looking good here, I lofted it, looked great, but of course, the same stupid geometry issue came back. So I watched some videos, I went on forums, I bring my issue to Discord, I look for help, and I get a few ideas. I loft a surface instead of a solid this time, and it looks alright. I fill in the stern of the boat, I thicken it, I mirror it, and... I'm losing my mind here at this point, and I try one final thing where I mirror the lofted surface first, knit it together, then thicken it, but now we're back to where we were with the overlapping geometry in the infinitely small shell. Usually I make videos about entire projects, so this one is a bit of an outlier. I wanted to get further before I posted a video about this project, but I simply don't know how to get around this issue. That's why I decided to turn to YouTube to hopefully get some advice. If you have any questions about what I've tried so far, or have suggestions about what to do, leave them in the comments, please. 
Also, I'm going to link an Onshape file under this video for anyone to make a copy of if they'd like to give this a try. Thanks so much if you made it through my rant, and I'll hopefully be able to make a proper video on this project someday.